Hey everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. The sun's gone, the clouds are back, the rain's back. It's it's just a nightmare being a window cleaner over here at the moment. It's driving me absolutely insane. And I'm so glad I'm almost at the end of the transit guard or the transit officer application. Hopefully I get it through. We'll see how we go. Anyway, I'm going to be using a sort of warming scent, which I haven't used yet, I don't think. Frankincense and Myrrh by Sterling. This was kindly sent to me by Troy Hove over in the States. He's the same guy that I got my first wolf whiskers from and a few other soaps that I really enjoyed that he sent over. He also sourced most of my gin vintage Gillettes, which unfortunately during transit ended up with terrible blade gaps bent, not working very well. Not his fault, but still gutty with him. Scent on it, it's a very woodsy scent. Obviously frankincense and myrrh I would imagine would be that sort of scent. There is a, there's a hint of a sort of herby, like a clove or something going on there. I don't know what it is, but it's got something else in there, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of something that's a little bit nicer. The brush today is the Custom TF shaving brush, which was my first ever commission brush for the channel, the first one that I had made with my channel name on it. And I absolutely love this, I absolutely love it. The colour scheme for it, which you can't really tell on the camera, it's called Phantom Nebula. The handle was an issue. This was an original handle from Tony, which he turned specifically for me, and he's used it quite a few times since. There's actually a few people running around with these actual colour and handle shapes since I got those, these ones made. This was actually part of a two two set. One of the subscribers that entered the competition has got the second one. I can't remember his name, so I've got a terrible memory. So straight into the dry soap. I've just wet this wet the brush, flipped out the excess. Now this is a 26 mil tuxedo style knot, so it's not a tuxedo knot, but it's a very good quality knot. It is a big knot, as you can see I'm sort of struggling with it in this, because this is a smaller tub from Sterling, it's just one of, I'm assuming this is one of the tubs that you fill up yourself and stick the sticker on yourself. So it is a bit smaller. So I'm going to load the shit out of this. Dip the tips again, let's get a bit more on you. That's uh, I do love sterling soaps. I think I've test lathered this a couple of times. Not really used it as a test lather, I've just used it to unscent a couple of my natural hair brushes because this is quite a strong scent. Oh, yes, I mean scent strength's round about out the top it's a good five or a six. One shot, that's it, loaded up. Oh, slickness. I can feel the slickness on my fingers. I can normally tell how good a slope soap's going to be slickness wise. Whenever you get a little bit on your hands and you try and wash it off under the water, and it takes a while to actually rub it off your skin under the water. That's wet the face. I've only got one day's growth again. I'm enjoying the daily shaves. I'm sort of in my mind conditioning myself a little bit for the transit officers because I'll have to shave every day. You can grow a goatee in the transit officers but I still have to shave every day, you can't go looking scruffy. This is going to be a great shave, I can tell already, as long as I don't react to the soap. Which, touch wood, I haven't reacted to any sterling soaps as yet. A bit of water in. Doesn't look like I'm going to need a lot of water because this actually feels quite. I mean, this brush sprays beautifully. It's actually got a lot more scrub than the authentic tuxedo nut or the black bull, but it's still very soft. It's got no scritch or anything like that. It is just a beautiful, scrubby but soft brush. And it's a big old nut. more water. <laughs> the 
the Jared Stein over on Facebook if you follow any of his live shaves. I haven't managed to watch one for so long. I've just been so busy. If you want to watch someone, I mean Jared overloads his brush. And I mean overloads his brush. But essentially wet shaving's about enjoying the experience to the to the max. And there's nothing quite like enjoying lathering in my opinion. It is the yeah, the best part of the wet shave. I mean, that is a phenomenal lad. <laughs> the brush is cake. I will say one thing. It's not the best tasting soap. I can taste the f I can taste what's in the soap. I can uh, taste like the soap. It's horrible soap to taste. Though. <laughs> it's almost like getting the alum in your mouth. Right, Rockwell 6C. I've got the same Gillette Ruby blade in there. I've got no idea how many blade uses it's had on it now. This is a great little shaver. Plate number three. So I'm off to the doctors this morning. I was there on Monday to get my ears checked because I've been getting a lot of headaches. It feels like pressure on my ears. I do have a problem with my the way my body works with my ears. It doesn't actually... Your body's supposed to get rid of wax from your ears. Mine's doesn't. It just builds up, builds up. And then I have to get them syringed. And I get them syringed sort of once every year to 18 months. Depending how, the, how it feels and what sort of stage I'm at. The upside of having this done is the hearing improves drastically within like sort of 30 seconds to a minute. Right, let's get rid of the store. Yeah, it is a, it's a nice woodsy scent. It's not, it's not overpowering at all. I mean, I would imagine by the time you finish your shave, washed off, and done your post shave with balms and things, that it wouldn't affect an aftershave. It's a very nice scent. In fact, it would probably go with quite a lot of aftershaves, if I'm honest. As you can see, it lathers up an absolute treat for Sterling. It really does. I don't normally clean my neck up a bit. As I'm going to work, I don't want to be covered, covered in the lather. Right across the green. Now, my hands are a bit slippy. I can feel it on my fingers, the slickness from this, so it's not affecting the grip with this knurling on this handle. It is a very good knurling. It wouldn't be as good as it would be on stainless steel. For some reason I find knurling on stainless steel to be way grippier. I don't know whether it's because of the, the way the texture of the stainless steel goes. I'm extremely 
extremely smooth razor. The blades, the Gillette Ruby blades are very very close to being my favourite blade now. <coughs> followed, very, well, followed closely by the Gillette Nassets, the Kai's feathers and there's a, probably a handful of other blades as well which I really enjoy but these have really really grown on me it's just exceptionally smooth they're sharp you can feel the sharp but they don't have that bite that you get from the feather they're smooth like a second use boss cod they're just really good blades. I'm just going to flick it, I've got a bloody notification on my phone now. Just going to empty the sink in. And the slickness is as always. really good. I have not had a slickness issue with a sterling soap, whether it be mentally or non mentally it's just exceptional soap. And for the price, it's, it's outstanding stuff. Now, I don't have a lot, well, I don't have a lot of it. I've got so many soap scents, sterling, so I do have a lot of sterling, I just don't have a lot com comparing to the size of the range. I think I've got nine, nine sterling soaps. And my favourite of all of them would probably be Sterling Margaritas in the Arctic. Just dip the tips. Now this is almost like starting again with the ladder. So much ladder in this brush. And I know this is frankincense and myrrh, but I get a sort of, I almost get a pine sort of scent from it. But it is really nice. The brush is still caked for a lot of The only part of my face that I go sort of against the grain on. On this section, I'm not fully against the grain, I'm sort of going over at an angle. So I don't catch it against the grain completely. I get most of the hair also under my chin and along my jawline. I'm probably like all here, I'm closer, well, I'm pretty much BBS there if I'm honest. I'm a lot closer than where I am most of the rest of my neck and things like that. Right. Splash of cold water now.
One thing I'm noticing now as well, uh, I've been watching Ken shaving and BSing for, God, it must be 10 months now, and one thing that I got from his channel was the old doing that, and I find if I do that shaving across the grain, once again I get pretty BBS on my chin here, and I'm not getting any weepers now, I used to get weepers when I first started it, obviously it's conditioned the skin now and I've chopped that many bloody tops of skin off, that it coats it now, but that's a beautifully moisturised, lovely shave, with no next cuts, weepers or bumps, nothing at all. Beautiful. Right, Thea's medicated witch hazel. Now this is clove scented, very clove scented. But it'll go nice with that woodsy scent from the frankincense and myrrh. And there's not much burn there, very, very minimal. Extremely minimal. I'm finding these mild shavers to be a lot, they're a lot better for everyday shaving, let's just put it that way. I couldn't use my Wunder Bar or the R41 or the Mergress on setting 5 or this on setting 6 every day, I couldn't do it. It would just murder my skin. Right, so while that is drying in, I can rinse out the tubs or the tub. Clean the soap up. It's certainly a very nice scented soap. If I'm honest, it would probably go quite well with a little bit of menthol in there. I find menthol works quite well with Woodsy Scent. Not that I've actually tried any, if I'm honest, but I just imagine it would. Right, rinse the brush out. Oh, there's a brush. It's absolutely chockers. Well, it was. It's not now. But there was enough lather in that brush to do a full head shave as well, I reckon. Just, it's one thing I love about synthetics, they don't, for some reason, people say that badgers and um, what they call it, bow hair and horse hair and stuff like that, eats the lather. I don't know how it works, I don't know how it does it. It's almost like it sucks the life out of the lather if you leave it sat in it for too long. Or... There's just a little bit left down the bottom there, just in the base of the knot, I can see. I've also sent over my Murano glass shaving brush, which had the 28 mil. Well, it's called a black synthetic, and so obviously it was it was nowhere near as good a knot as this. It had a massive glue bump, and it's a very short knot. I've actually still got the knot. The knot I literally just bent it, and it came straight out. It's a very different way of putting a knot into a handle. It wasn't the best way, unfortunately. And it was a shocking knot. I'm surprised. I understand why Eric, over on the Shave Gear Raffle site, got rid of it. Which is a, I mean, he's basically sold a brush, or raffled a brush off, which is pretty much useless. But the handle's beautiful, so hopefully I can get a good knot put in it. So that was Sterling Frankincense and Moore. The brush was the TF Custom Shaving Brush from Tony Forsyth over in the Eastern States in Queensland, I believe it is. There you go, another cover with Chris. And so the 26mm synthetic tuxedo style knot. Great weight to it and beautiful resin. The resin's actually cast here in Western Australia by the master caster, he's called, he's known by. The razor was a Rockwell 6C, which is an outstanding little razor, it really is. And I probably will eventually one day have the 6S, I will get it. I do like this, but I've got a, a thing for quality metals, or better quality metals. But this, in your hand, if you shut your eyes, feels like a good weighty handle. It doesn't feel like cheap quality at all. And we finished off with Thayer's Medicated, and all I'm going to do now is finish off the shave completely with Barbasol Premium. What's this one called again? Soothing Pacific Rush. This stuff is excellent. And it's actually, I think, I think it's the last thing standing from the the box that Gil, that I won on Gil's channel. The great thing is with, with that box that Gil sent me, I actually sent most of the stuff from it. I gave it to my best mate over here, Skelts, so that he could get into the wet shaving. And as far as I'm aware from speaking with him, he's actually using stuff, he shaves traditionally now. He had tried it before and gave up because the razor was crap, so I gave him a couple of good razors. Oh, 
wash your teeth, I'll tell you what. Thanks very much for tuning in guys, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, I'm off to work and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.